All right, now, have you ever heard it said that people look like their pets, or pets look like their people? I don't know which way it is, but you know what? We're out to prove that that is definitely true right now. And we're going to draw a parrot and the person who owns this parrot. And we're going to start with a shape. I'm going to make like kind of an oval shape, kind of facing forward like that. And this is going to be the parrot. I'm going to put a circle right here for the parrot's eye. And it's going to be a side view. And let's put the eye inside. Leave that white space, just like we did with the dog's nose. It kind of creates a highlight or a shine and creates a little interest. Now for the parrot's beak. And a smile inside. And for some feathers and a wing. And let's define the shape that we started with a little bit. And some more feathers and some feet. Some circles and ovals, some detail. And there you have a cartoon parrot sitting on a perch. We can even draw that. All right, now let's give this parrot a funny hair, like funny feather coming out the front like that. Now we're going to draw the person who owns this parrot. Now we're going to simulate the same features. We're going to draw the same kind of eye. We can do that. And an eyebrow. Now we can't give her a beak, but we can give her a kind of a big nose that simulates that shape. And we can give her the rest of her facial outline kind of the same as the parrot. And we can give her a funny hair as well. And for her hairstyle, we can make it look like the feathers. Some detail up there and give her a smile. And let's see, well, these feet we can simulate with kind of a necklace. All right, there you have it. Put a little color, a little red, make it a red parrot. Give her some red hair as well. And there you have it, Molly and Polly. So a great way to practice cartoon animals is to go to a zoo, an aquarium, or even look in books. And remember the key, simplify their features. Molly, you want a cracker? Ha <laughs> ha!